Hidden away amidst the chaos of Kabul's old city, an apprentice jeweller works on his latest piece. These are all students at the Afghan Institute for Arts and Architecture. It's in an area of Kabul that has been restored to how it looked in the 18th century. We've got a bright future. Two terms have now graduated and those students have started their own business. We will back those for the first 12 months. The high quality workmanship has caught the attention of Qatar's Museum of Islamic Art. It's commissioned the students to make Afghan inspired pieces to display in Doha. Now Manawa here has taken a solid piece of Afghan lapis and he's carved a rabbit into it. It took him 280 hours to do this and the inspiration was Afghanistan's Ghaznavid period more than a thousand years ago when this sort of art was typical. Tamim Saibzada's intricate calligraphy will also be on display. It's a skill that almost cost him his life when the Taliban ruled this country. One day I brought some calligraphy home with me, but the Taliban stopped and searched me because they didn't like the way I dressed. They found my work and started beating my legs with the steel cable. Then one of them loaded his Kashnikov, and I thought my life was about to end. But then, like an angel, my neighbor appeared. He held some sort of position in the Taliban. He spoke to them and told me to leave. In great pain, I managed to crawl away. The exhibition of hundreds of unique pieces opens in Doha in March. The hope is that it will encourage a new market for high-quality Afghan craftsmanship. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Kabul.